Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Fiona Yan Liu. I come from the Department of Computing at the Hong Kong Polytechnic University. Many thanks for the introduction of KT and many thanks for the uh, invitation from Dr. Zhong. Today, I will share our work on uh, computer music. The title of the presentation is Make Your Favorite Music Curative Artificial Intelligence Generated Music for Anxiety Reduction. Now let's look at the background of today's presentation. Anxiety is the most common mental problem that affects nearly uh, 500 million individuals worldwide. According to the recent report from the World Health Organization, the situation is even worse recently uh, due to the influence of COVID and more importantly, the world economic downturn. This impact factor further leads to negative feelings and results in the several constituents, such as hypertension, insomnia, and pain. Therefore, the effectiveness, effective treatment is needed, such as medical therapy, which has been used uh, for more than 50 years in clinical practice. Music therapy is a health profession in which a music therapist using music to help the patients to the user uh, improve and maintain their mental health as well as physical health. Music therapy shows a distinguished effectiveness and a few side effects in emotion regulation. Now, a commonly accepted theory explains the relation between music and anxiety reduction is that music acts as a distractor, drawing the patient's attention to the melody of music rather than his or her own negative feelings. And currently, a number of studies confirm that music therapy can reduce anxiety on different types of subjects. In particular, many researchers demonstrated that music decreased the anxiety level of philosophically unhealthy patients, such as the person who suffer from heart diseases and cancer. Some decided studies focus on normal uh, persons such as normal undergraduate student had showing that a positive relationship between music listening and anxiety reduction. Okay, uh, according to the interaction between the user and the therapist, we can roughly uh, classify the music therapy to four categories. The first one is receptive uh, music uh, therapy. The user listens to the music and responds to the experience silently, verbally, or in other modalities such as dancing. The second category is called recreation music therapy. And for recreation music therapy, a music central approach in which the user is encouraged to play or sing along to a pre-composed, pre-written song in a manner that supports identified goals. The third kind of music therapy is called improvisation. It involves in a uh, simultaneous music making using simple instrument and the modern percussion or other such as voice. The last but not the least, composition or uh, songwriting and a process whereby the patient supports the client, the user in creating their own music. Okay, now let's look at the aim of our work. The aim of our work works on the first kind of music therapy. And then we want to use artificial intelligence technique to generate therapeutic music. Specifically, 
two objectives will be addressed. The first one is we want to find what are the music factors that essentially evoke human emotions. The second part is we want to know how to generate or is it possible to generate therapeutic music with better user engagement? Okay, this is the two objectives we want to address. Now let's look at uh, the first task. This is the work uh, we started from uh, 2015, <laughs> about eight years ago. And the title of this project is What Strikes the String of Your Heart? Future Mining for Music Emotion Analysis. Uh, some far-seeing researcher has studied the relationship between music and emotion and have validated that this relationship exists and also validated that music can evoke very strong emotion of human beings. And some special character of music, such as reason, such as harmony, such as melody, can evoke certain kinds of emotions, such as happiness, such as sadness. And here we provide some examples of the relationship between these specific characters and the emotion can be evoked. And our work intends to answer three general interest questions in data-driven approach. Previously, actually, this question has been uh, answered by different ways. For example, some experts in this area propose some hypothesis according to their experience, according to their observation, and design a uh, paradigm to validate the correctness or to validate the importance of this hypothesis. Our work intends to enable the computer find out these relationships automatically using artificial intelligence techniques. Specifically, we want to answer the question of what are the intrinsic features embedded in musical signal that essentially evoke human emotions? The second question is to what extent these features influence human emotions? The third is whether the findings from computational models are consistent with the existing research result from, for example, psychology from social science. Okay, and uh, this part is the uh, problem formulation. And we want to uh, formulate the problem of music emotion analysis to the problem of dimensionality reduction for multi-label uh, classification. Here, I will skip uh, quickly. Okay, for this part, we represent, this is the audio music signal. This is the multiple emotion categories. And for this music signal, we will use some uh, computational method to generate music vectors. Sometimes not uh, music feature vectors, maybe metrics, maybe high dimensional arrays. Okay, this is original data. And this is data Y. Data Y is the emotion categories. For example, Y1 may indicate if there exists happiness. The second Y2 indicate if it indicates the existence of the emotion sadness. This is the label Y. And we want to use some computational model to find out if we can find the representation that can catch the emotions according to the original data X. Okay, so this will be formulated the problem of dimensionality reduction for multi-label classification. What is multiple uh, label uh, classification? Generally speaking, a good song should 
include should include complex emotions. For example, it include uh, happiness and excited simultaneously. So here, maybe the, the Y vector will include more than uh, one signal, one label. This is uh, multi-label learning, multi-label classification. Okay. And then the problem will be uh, formulated as uh, the mathematical way. The, the basic idea is if it deliver the same emotions, we prefer that extracted features can be mapped to a space with the small distance. This is idea. And this is the mathematical formulation. We will work on find the transformation metric U to minimize the distance. And this is the computational model we provided. This is one algorithm can be implemented by the computer. Now let's look at the performance. For the performance validation, we work on two data sets. This is a standard data sets in computer science. The first is called emotions. And this emotion data sets include about 600 songs and with the emotion label, very basic labels, uh, similar with the facial expressions such as angry, quiet, happy, sad, amazed, relaxed, very uh, basic one. And the second data set include 500 uh, songs, but it include more uh, complex emotion labels such as uh, touching, such as a tender, soft, such kind of labels. And uh, uh, in today's talk, to save time, I will only demo the result on the first uh, data sets because it's, it's uh, uh, easy to explain. Now let's look at the performance. The performance, we compare the performance with the uh, proposed, with the existing research. Also, we we compare the performance with the uh, original data set. And our proposal method uh, highlight has achieved the best performance in uh, average precision, Hamming loss, one error, and the ranking loss. OK. Now let's look at the second question we want to answer. To what extent these features influence human emotions? And for this figure, let's look at this dimension. For this dimension, the horizontal dimension shows the features, the musical features, and the vertical dimension shows the contribution of the emotion recognition. And it's obvious that the spectral features and the rhythm features uh, contribute better for the uh, classification task. Okay. Now let's look at whether the findings of computation models are consistent with existing research result. Here we list uh, four most contributable features. The first one is uh, spectral flux. Spectral flux reflects how fast the pitch of the sound changes. The second feature is MFCC coefficient, the first means of the MFCC coefficients. It actually indicates the overall measure of the signal loudness, the loudness of the music. The third is a pair of features, bit histogram of the first and the second bit histogram, and which reflects the tempo of the sound. And all these findings are consistent with the existing research result, which validate that the computational method works well. It can find the essential, it can find in the intrinsic features for emotion recognition. Okay, now let's move to the second part. Make your favorite music curative generative music for anxiety with better use engagement. Here is the background. For anxiety reduction, uh, we studied the first kind of music therapy, music for receptive music therapy to reduce anxiety. And generally, we use two kinds of music. 
The first is self-pitted music, and we can find a set of music that can be recognized useful for our anxiety reduction. And the, the common theory comes from relaxing response, emotion regulation. For example, it can reduce the heart rate. Also, it can link it to the positive emotions. Okay, the second kind of music that is helpful to reduce anxiety is favorite music of the users. Why? Because generally speaking, the favorite music linked to some uh, beautiful memories. Also, the personalized expression will improve the engagement. This is why it works well. And we want to use a computer to generate the music that can include both the character of a therapeutic music and the user preferred music. Okay, and here we use uh, AIGC, artificial intelligence generator content, very um, amazing uh, research area in artificial intelligence. What is the AIGC? Involves the creation of digital content such as image, natural language and the music through AI models. If you don't know AIGC, you definitely know, know ChatGPT. ChatGPT is actually can generate the text using AIGC techniques. This is an instrument and this is the generated email based on the instrument. And this is the image generation. Also, the prompt is the text and the output is an image. It looks real. However, this is not the real image. This is a fake one generated by artificial intelligence. How about, uh, how about the, the music? For music part, uh, currently, it can be uh, classified as three categories, score generation, performance generation, audio generation. For audio generation part, it works well. Currently, you can find a lot of AI tools that can generate uh, the music, the songs. Uh, it seems seen by some uh, popular uh, star, such as um, Zhou Jielun. And for the performance generation, currently, uh, a lot of researchers work on this area, and it achieves a good result. But for score generation, composition, writers as well, is very challenging. And a few work work on it. And our work focuses on this part, how to write the song for the anxiety reduction. OK, here we use the deep learning model to achieve the goal. And for this deep learning model, uh, I will skip the details, but uh, we use the deep learning model here to generate, to generate personalized therapeutic music according to the favorite music and the therapeutic music. And we use a deep learning model to learn the features that satisfy the requirement both of the musicality and the emotion evoking. Okay, this is our work. And the performance, and this is a performance compared with control group, and this is the favorite music. This is the uh, therapeutic music. And this is user personalized therapeutic music. And obviously, our result achieves the best performance. And here, I can give a very quick demo. This is the music generated. Let's come to the conclusion part. For conclusion, uh, our previous work has demonstrated that dimensionality reduction techniques can identify the intrinsic features embedded in musical signal uh, in, that evoke human emotions. Okay, moreover, deep learning model can generate theoretic music for individual users. Future work will be explored from three uh, aspects. And uh, among four kinds of music therapy approach, our work only focus on the first category, receptive music therapy. We would like to work with, especially work with uh, music therapists together to develop a more interactive therapy for the real application. The second uh, 
direction we want to explore is the music generation to evoke specific emotion precisely. And uh, we want to work with the um, researchers that have the psychology background. And uh, the last but not the least, we also are interested in computer music in metaverse for health aging six cooperation to apply our research result to real world problem serving. And uh, this is my presentation. Many thanks for your listening. Okay, thank you.